What's going on, blessed fam? It's your boy, Kenneth James. At That Blessed Life. And uh, it's been a minute since I hit a video up. And so uh, I'm just going to give you guys a little quick little update. Uh, what's been going on? You guys know the uh, idea of the channel was to um, <clears throat> build generational wealth um, through online e-commerce. Uh, through real estate and real estate investing and then so that was the basically the main goal of the channel and so I wanted to start off with building an e-commerce uh, platform that I was satisfied with and that I uh, felt would bring me passive income um, and I really wasn't satisfied with what I built and so I was just tinkering tinkering a while and um, I put a few websites up there uh, wasn't really satisfied with what I was doing and try to, I was kind of straying off into a little bit more of the digital marketing because that's where I was having success and um, got a little bit of success there. Uh, but I wanted to really just go back to the main focus of the channel. And uh, the main focus of the channel was to uh, use real estate uh, to build that wealth. And so uh, I am out right now on my way to Wahiwa and uh, looking at a property that. Uh, that we're about to try and buy uh, it's in foreclosure so we're uh, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna try and buy it um, so uh, if I can get a signed contract I'll let you guys uh, see it and uh, I'll kind of explain to you guys the process of what we're uh, kind of doing so that you guys uh, can um, definitely see where we're going here and so um, yeah this channel is gonna be now more of just the straight real estate day-to-day -day investor trying to go out and uh, and to get properties under contract and then um, you'll, you'll see the process from contract all the way to uh, sale of the property after it's been rehabbed and so um, right now I'm on my way to Wahiwa I'm gonna get this one uh, under contract and um, we'll see uh, what's going on here I'll let you know what's going on in this specific one uh, it's a three bedroom one bathroom one half bathroom uh, super dilapidated what happened was the, uh, the title the homeowner died and uh, she has two daughters two daughters are off island um, one daughter is separated but not divorced from the uh, husband who lives in the house with the older son and so they, she's been out of the house for two years so um, the house is in probate so we got to untangle that first and then the house is also in foreclosure then we got to untangle that second and so um, we're gonna go in here try to get uh, one of these uh, son or the grand grandson or either or the father to be the uh, representative of the estate once we do that uh, legally we can make them an offer uh, once we make them an offer, we can uh, purchase the property. We'll go ahead and put the property through probate. We'll file the probate um, uh, paperwork and um, we'll get the property out. So we should be, the property right now, um, we're looking at probably a, depending on how much we, how much the, uh, depending on how much the homeowner wants, or not the homeowner, but the personal representative wants, um, somewhere probably gonna be like 5,000. Um, so 5,000 to get them out of the house, and then uh, I think it's 420, uh, 424,000 to satisfy the the, uh, the loan on the property. So we're looking at 430,000 is probably what we're looking at. And the property, uh, Right now, comps are probably like 6:30, uh, and so we're gonna see what we're gonna see what kind of work that we need to do uh, to the property to get it done uh, to get it up to fair market value, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and move forward and get up to fair market value. And so, first things first, we gotta go ahead and get the property under contract. So that's where I'm going right now, and um, I'm not gonna show you guys obviously my conversation with the with the homeowner, but. Um, I'll give you guys a rundown after um, if it goes down. If it doesn't go down, you guys will definitely get a rundown. So, um, all right, stay tuned, guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Hopefully, we get this under contract. 
What's going on guys? It's your boy Kenneth James here at The Blessed Life and I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Wahiwa house. We got a signed contract right here. Um, I don't want to give the guy you know, too much but here it is you guys can see. Signed by the seller. There you guys go. And I'll show you the front of the contract without the guy's name and everything. Property. I'm driving right now and trying to show you guys a contract, so I mean I'm breaking the law, but I wanted to show you guys, yes, we got a signed contract, so we'll be moving forward now with this purchase and uh, on to the next one. It's really easy once you just break it down and um, how to do it, and I'll go ahead and break down in the video how we did it, um, but the, the, the number one thing is you have to have the financing, you have to have the funds behind you. Uh, once you have the funds behind you, you can kind of just make sure that you have um, all your ducks in a row and uh, then you can go out and you can and you can perform and uh, you don't have to have you know uh, we do do money no money down strategy don't get me wrong but when you have the the fight uh, when you have the finance behind you the capital behind you you can definitely make it grow and so uh, I hooked on with a really good company and uh, we partnered up and uh, I'm excited and so uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated and uh, what's going on with this property in Wahiwa but um, yeah we got the first one so on to the next one all right stay blessed and um, we'll catch you guys next time